What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Night Owl channel. In this video, I'll be counting down the top 20 Musao attacks within the Dynasty Warrior series. I tried to restrain it down to just 10 Musao attacks, but there's so many good ones that I had to expand the list to 20. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this kind of content, and if you have not seen any of the other top 10 videos I've done for Dynasty Warriors, or if you have not seen the analysis series that I've done for every single character within the game, feel free to check it out in the description down below. But with that being said, we have a lot to cover. The top 20 Musao attacks within the Dynasty Warriors series based on my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about my list down below. So starting off at number 20, this was a pretty hard pick for me. I was in between three different characters in Zhang Liao, Wen Yang, and Liu Bei. So Zhang Liao's stick and like he kind of turns around Musao attack. We have Wen Yang's javelin Musao attack and then ultimately I went with for number 20 Liu Bei's Dynasty Warriors 7, 8, and 9 Aerial Musou Attack. So this was a pretty simple Musou Attack, but the reason that I put it above the other two was because the impact that it had in Dynasty Warriors 7, they kind of took that away in Dynasty Warriors 8 and 9 and made it more of an AoE attack. But I just like the emphasis that the Musou Attack had when Liu Bei charges up his swords with lightning and he drops it on the below officers and troops and they kind of have a certain animation when they get hit with it. I just thought that was pretty cool. So starting off the list, coming in at number 20, we have Liu Bei's Aerial Musao Attack. Now moving on to number 19, we have Deng Ai with the Flying Armbar. So I had to include this one because of my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu background. Just seeing this Musao Attack within the game was really cool to see and Deng Ai does it perfectly in the game and I had to include it within the list. It was originally number 20, but I thought because of the simplicity of Liu Bei's Aerial Musao, I had to put Deng Ai just one spot above and because it's very biased on what I believe how significant this Musao Attack is, I originally had it down at number 20. But I think it's a little bit better than Liu Bei's Aerial Musao, and it's a very unique Musao attack. I thought it was just really cool to see that incorporated within the game. So I had to find a way to put it in this list, and it's going to come in at number 19. All right, next up coming at number 18, another hard pick for me. It was hard to decide where I wanted this one to go, but we have Jia Shang coming in with his Dynasty Warriors 8, his main Musao attack, which is the one where he sticks them, and then he has like these blades of like ghostly axes that come out and kind of just shred his opponent it's a pretty cool musao attack the effects on it is pretty nice i can't complain about it too much i don't like the weapon style in itself but i would say the musao attack was pretty badass so a good pick i think for jia shang's musao attack at number 18 let's go ahead and move on to the next one all right, coming in at number 17, this might be a controversial pick. You guys let me know down below. But I think Zhao Qiao coming at number 17 with her aerial fireball attack is an easy pick for me. It's just, it was a, when I first played through her for the analysis series, it was just really cool to see that Musao. I don't know. It just, it was just cool to see it light up the screen when I was playing and I had to include it within the list down at number 17. I thought it was a pretty fire Musao attack. Easy choice for me at number 17. <laughs> All right, coming in at number 16, again, the ordering of the Musao attacks might be completely wrong, or maybe I'm missing one when you guys get to the end, you guys let me know. But number 16 is a good solid pick for Sao P's second Musao attack in Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8. When he calls upon like the ice crystals, he puts them down, and then he like swipes and then like breaks the ice crystals, everybody gets frozen. It's a really cool Musao attack. I think it was the best in Dynasty War 7. It had the best animation. That's what really caught my attention and why it's on this list. I just love the, I don't know, emphasis behind this Musao attack with Sao P. It kind of, a little bit of his own personality is when this. He just calls upon the eyes. You can see the motion, the confidence. He just drops it on the people around him. And he slices through with that smug, confident personality that Sao P has. And I was immediately drawn to this Musao attack. And that's why it makes number 16 on our list. All right, next up at number 15, starting off the top 15, we have Sun Sheng Zhang's Aero Musao in Dynasty War 7, 8, and 9. It was one of my favorite Musao attacks to use during the analysis series and going through her story. It's just really cool to see her pull out her bow, and then she like kind of flips around and then uses her foot to pull back the bow and blows everything up in front of her and then lands gracefully and all that good stuff. It was a pretty cool Musao attack. I really enjoyed using it. And it was a solid choice for me to put it in the list. Just finding where it went, I think number 15 was a solid choice for it. Number 15, Sun Shang Jang's Aerial Musao attack. 
All right, next up, coming in at number 14, we have the deadly but beautiful Zen Ji and her second Musao in Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8. This was an overpowering Musao attack. I mean, you don't have to worry about, you know, area of effect, crowd control, whatever it is. This clears out all enemies around you, and she just dances around for a good 10, 15 seconds and just absolutely wipes out the people around her. It was a pretty powerful Musao attack. It was a no-brainer to include it on the list. And I think it's a little bit more impactful and significant than all the other ones I've already mentioned so far. So Zenji, the Ice Queen herself, coming in at number 14 with her second Musao attacks. Easy pick for me. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, coming in at number 13, we got my boy Soon Su. And surprisingly, it's not with his tonfas that I'm putting him in this list, but it's actually with the Long Tao Da Jia Dao. So with that weapon in Dynasty Warriors 9, his Musao attack was actually pretty sick. Like, I thought it was pretty awesome. It, he, he, he warms it up, you know, he, he gets into his stance, and he spins, spins, and then slams back down. He's got his little tagline, I'm getting fired up. It just adds on to the impact of the Musao attack. I thought it was an awesome Musao attack, better than the Tonfas in my opinion. Of course, the Tonfas themselves are a great weapon, and Sun Tzu should always have them. But I was not disappointed to see Sun Tzu's Musao attack with the new weapon he got in Dynasty Warriors 9. And that's why he's up here at number 13. Alright, coming in at number 12. This was originally at number 11. But we've got Zhu Rong, the Queen of the Nanman, Queen of the South. Dynasty Warriors 7, 8, and 9. A similar feeling of that with Zhao Xiao. She calls upon this like fireball. She punches it. And then Reigns of Fire just comes out of nowhere. I don't know what it is. I just enjoy seeing characters pull out this, like, fireball and, like, just, you know, doing lots of damage with it. But I thought it was a really good Musao attack for her in Dynasty Wars 7, 8, and 9. Good AoE, great effects, animation looks beautiful. And it's an easy choice for me at number 12. It was originally number 11 for me, but you'll see number 11 was just a little bit better than Zhu Rong here at number 12. <laughs> All right, coming at number 11, we have Zhang Hui's Dynasty Warriors 8 Aerial Musou. This Musou attack was ridiculous. I don't like Zhang Hui, the character, his weapon style is okay. This dude's Musou attack, the Aerial Musou, is just ridiculous. He has such a presence about himself. He just assumes his position and he just floats down. And the ghost, the flying swords, the ghostly effect, whatever it is, just shreds everything around you as he descends to the ground. It's a very intriguing Musao attack. I had to include it even though I don't like the character, but it was such a good Musao attack, so captivating, I had to include it. And it was originally at number 12, but after watching both Zhu Rong and you know, this one, this is obviously the better Musao attack. And an easy choice for me within the list, and an easy choice at number 11. All right, coming in at number 10, we're now hitting the top 10. We have the big boy himself, Lu Bu, and his aerial Musao in Dynasty Warriors 8. Now, in Dynasty Warriors 9, he has the exact same Musao attack, but in Dynasty Warriors 8, it's another level of like, impact and power, and I don't know what it is, but the way it's animated in Dynasty Warriors 8 just hits on another level. Had to include it within the list. Definitely a top 10 Musao attack, and it just has, again, that impact. Not only it's Lu Bu, but the way that the Musao, again, is animated, it just makes the Musao attack that much more intimidating, that much more big, and that much more powerful. Easy pick to start off our top 10, Lu Bu, with his Dynasty Warriors 8 aerial Musao attack. <laughs> All right, coming in at number nine, this is a more of a bias pick, I would say, because many people probably won't agree with this. Well, you guys let me know down in the comments. But number nine, we have Jung Wei with his Lightning Triangle Musao attack. Because I use the weapon so often in the Empire's game, this is one of my favorite Musao attacks. I just love the lightning element. The lightning element is probably one of my favorite elements within the series. Jung Wei drawing the triangle on the ground, lifting it up into a pyramid, doing tons of damage. It's just one of my favorites, and it's hard for me not to include it within the list. Personally for me, this is a great Musao attack and it's a great choice for me at number 9. Again, let me know what you guys think about it down below. Now moving on to number 8, we've got Zhou Yu. So Zhou Yu, Dynasty Warriors 9 Musao attack gets a beef. So it's the same one they had in Dynasty Warriors 8, I believe. I believe it was like a second Musao attack. The animation was not as good as it was in Dynasty Warriors 9. It got an upgrade, it got a beef, it now has a huge AoE attack, lots of fire coming out. And I just love the effect that it leaves behind. And for me, I thought it was a very great, very powerful, very, you know, appealing Musao attack. Easy choice. Number eight, 
Zhou Yu in Dynasty Warriors 9. All right, coming in at number seven, we're going to bring it back to the old days. Hope you guys are ready for some nostalgia. We've got Pang Tong with his early Dynasty Warriors Musao attack. Dynasty Warriors 3, 4, and 5. This Musao attack was ridiculously OP. With not a lot of characters having a lot of big AoEs, this character, you could just spam your Musao attack and you would be just fine. He like covers a good distance around himself and he just explodes with damage and energy. I thought it's a really good Musao attack. A lot of damage, a big impact on, at least just for me playing with the, the character. And that's why I liked him so much. Not only for the personality, like I mentioned in his analysis video, but his Musao attack is so good in the early games. I had to include it. His Musao, his regular Musao attack was equal to that of a true Musao attack because it was that powerful. It was that good. So easy, easy choice. Peng Tong coming in at number seven with his early Dynasty Warriors Musao attack. I think it's a solid, solid choice. All right, coming in at number six, this was a hard choice to figure out which was in the top five, but unfortunately, I'm gonna put Ma Chao, still sticking with the nostalgia from the earlier games, his signature Musao in the earlier games down at number six. When we get to the top five, you'll see why, but number six, Ma Chao signature Musao attack. I mean, it's one of the biggest ones to me that stood out. You know, it wasn't a crazy like Peng Tong type, but it just stood out. He starts it off spinning his spear, he jumps up on top of it, and then he swings down for a big AOE sweep. And I always thought it was really cool. Of course, the character himself and everything that he, you know, is packed into to make him the character that he is probably helps with the character. But just adding that Musao attack as well, it was always dangerous going against him. And as soon as you heard the sound for the Musao attack, you were like, I need to get away from this guy as fast as possible. His Musao attack in the early games always stood out. Easy choice for me to put this Musao attack in the top 10 like I talked about in my you know top 10 video and in his analysis video as well number six coming in we have ma chao's signature musao from the earlier game all right here we go top five musao attacks within the game i think these stand out pretty well let me know what you guys think about them down below but number five we're going to start off with zhou tai's musao attack so in the earlier games or like the first game he was playable or four and five i thought it was really good but it got even better Dynasty Warriors 7, 8, and 9. Dynasty Warriors 9 takes a step down because the animation is not as good. But Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8, when he just swings his sword once and then he sheathes it. And then millions of flashing blades come out and just do tons of damage. You're just kind of watching the spectacle happen. And you're just sitting back and enjoying yourself. Because of Jotai's presence, again, similar to Macha, because of that presence, because of the character... It just fit him very, very well. And seeing him have that umph with his Musao attack in Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8 always stood out to me. It's one of my favorite styles to use within the Empire's games. And I'm sure a lot of Jotai fans really like that style. Even if you're not a Jotai fan, I'm sure you can respect that style and understand why that Musao attack is at least up here in my list at number 5. All right, coming in at number four, this might be a Musao attack that most people overlook, but Diao Chan's, again, I don't like this character. She's not a favorite of mine at all, but her second Musao in Dynasty Warriors 8, dear lord, it was so good. So this was originally at number six, but I pushed it down to, or I pushed Ma Chao down to number six and put her up at number four. Just watching the gameplay, watching the animation for this second Musao attack, absolutely destructive. Almost a similar effect to Zenji, except it's bigger, and it, I believe it lasts a little bit longer too. It just does so much damage, clears out so many enemies, and when I was playing through you know, her to go through the analysis and analyze her as a character, I instantly fell in love with that Musao attack. I thought it was a great, great Musao attack. Easy choice for a top five Musao attack. One of the best ones for a female character, and I think it fits really well here at number four. Let me know what you guys think about that down below. Diao Chan, number four, with their Dynasty Warriors 8 second Musao. All right, top three, here we go. So these are the top three Musao attacks in the Dynasty Warrior series, according to my opinion. And starting off with number three, we have Wei Yan's second Musao attack in Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8. Dear Lord, just take whatever I said about Diao Chan and just multiply it by like four or five because his Musao attacks getting on the ground and his AoE, everything just shoots up, the lightning, the animation, it is absolutely beautiful. I love Wei Yan's second Musao attack in Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8. Such a good Musao attack. It was just so addicting to use. I mean, how can you not want to play as this character or use his style within the Empire's games when he has such a powerful Musao attack? AoE again, huge lightning out the wazoo. And like I mentioned in my analysis video for him, 
one of the coldest Musau attacks within the game. He doesn't play around like he comes out of his shell and absolutely destroys everything with that Musau tag. It's ultimately one of my favorite Musau attacks within the game, and it's a great, great fit here at number three, Wei Yan's second Musau attack. All right, coming in at number two, if you haven't guessed it already, or maybe you've guessed it earlier in the video and you're like, where's the Musao attack at? Here it is, Zhu Shu's main Musao attack in Dynasty Warriors 8 and 9. Now, in Dynasty Warriors 9, I would say it takes a step back because of the animation. I don't think the animation is just, is, you know, I don't think it's as good. I don't think it's as impactful. But in Dynasty Warriors 8, it really hones in as to why this character, I believe, was so popular was because of his Musao attack and the weapon style that he was given. This Musao attack is absolutely insane. Instead of like Zhou Tai where he's like flashing blades, this guy is flashing all over the screen and doing tons of damage. One of the most impactful and probably memorable Musao attacks within the game is definitely Zhu Shu's sword and hook style main Musao attack. Easy choice for number two, absolutely destructive. All right, coming in at number one. This might be a surprise to some of you guys, unless you guys are big Zhuge Liang fans, but Zhuge Liang's, the number one Musao, this Musao attack had my jaw drop. Dynasty Warriors 9 does such a good job with this Musao attack. Now, in Dynasty Warriors 8, I believe it's a similar attack. Like, it's a lightning element, very similar. Dynasty Warriors 9 takes it to another level he splices the ground and like beams of energy just come up and just destroy everything i have never seen a musao attack that was that captivating in the series up until i saw when i saw that i was like that's number one i automatically knew for this video Zhuge Liang, this was the number one style because this musao attack was so again captivating to me i just once i saw it i was like wow that was so freaking good it was so cool you splice the ground he makes a little semicircle and just a wall of energy comes up out of the ground, destroys anything and everyone around them, wipes out the enemy completely. Dynasty Warriors 8, Juge Leon got a lot of good moves as well. His Musao attacks in that game was actually very powerful as well, a lot of lightning with it, and it was very, very, very strong. But Dynasty Warriors 9 takes it to another level, and that's why it's up here at number one. Let me know what you guys think about the list down below. Were you surprised to see some of them up here? Were you, you know, did I miss any? Uh, all the rankings and all my videos for anyone that doesn't, you know, maybe this is your first video watching. All of my, you know, rankings is based on the main series from the franchise. So none of the Extreme Legends or the Empire's versions because I don't have any of the Extreme Legends games. So all this from the main series. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. But that's all I have for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely appreciate a like, comment, or subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.